hasn't done it in the usual manner in terms of what families are used to with other funeral homes. It is done and, and run like a farm. Probably the secret sauce for us is perception. What's really going on in this TV show? What's really going on in the market? What's really going on in New Zealand? What's really going on in the world? What does your full form teacher say now about Oh, that? I'd love to see her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I learned how to read English when I was 11. Mm. And I was taught by my younger auntie, who was nine at the time. You were apparently public enemy number one to the then Prime Minister, Sir Robert Muldoon. Well, I regarded him as public enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> Sahara Desert, Gobi Desert, Death Valley, yep. the Himalayas. I want to make a real difference. And the way that I thought I could at that time was to change laws. And so I wrote down in the time capsule that I wanted to become a lawyer when I grew up. When you go all in on something, you're much more likely to succeed. You might not succeed still, but you're more likely to. The superintendent of Canterbury, one of his great lines was, the first plank of public policy must be to stamp out the beastly communism of the Māori. And I used to stand there and say, my mission is to restore the beastly communism of Naito. <laughs>